I'm trying to find the place where can I put it because I, as you know, I do not have my laptop and I've just yes, heard this one a from tragedy. Oh, yes. But I have no idea where can I where put this? Where this goes? <laughs> Hmm, somewhere in the back of the PC or what, of the laptop? Somewhere in the back? But where is it? No idea. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. I've just found it. Okay, 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 okay. I love plants. I love plants. I feel so, I don't know, calm, comfortable, good, just good. Yes. Plants. Surrounding maybe, yourself with nature. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe because they do not speak. I don't know. <laughs> And I can speak a lot, but I can talk ah, a lot. Okay, I, I thought I that, but you are overwhelmed with people who talk too much? No, no I think I'm not. Maybe some from time to time, my mother, maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, sure. Maybe, baby, maybe, baby. And just a second, please. And I will be ready, steady. Okay, so okay. now All I think those cables. Oh, All yeah, those oh, cables. And, yeah. And uh, I'm sorry if, if you feel inconvenient because of my camera, because no, uh, no? It's, it's good for you. Okay, yes. because uh, in this laptop camera is not located on the mm, on the top of the screen, but on the on the bottom of, of the screen. You know, and okay. it's, I know it's recording from the from the bottom of oh. you. <laughs> I feel like I'm you know flying now. Oopsie. Okay. No, no, I'm good. Yes. So how are you Friday morning? The sun is shining. Oh, it's a bit cold. I, I'm very sad this morning. Why? Because oh gosh, have, what happened? Because only two times per week we have our English classes. Mm. Uh, so I decided to uh, implement um, Phoebe's, uh, no Phoebe's, Heidi's. Heidi's. Yeah, you see, it happens to me too. If I yeah. record... If I remember someone's name incorrectly at the beginning, it keeps yeah. coming back. Absolutely. So how irritating. Yes, yeah. but we know who we are talking about. Yeah. Phoebe. Heidi. Yes. Uh, Heidi. Heidi. Phoebe. Yes. Yeah, Heidi's program of radical honesty. So I decided to ask you if you have time and if you feel free to conduct three times per week. If it's okay for you, just feel free to say yes or no, you don't have to do it now. You can say to you, you can decide in two days, five days, five weeks, etc. We are, we are getting into a dangerous zone, Asha. You know why? Because it's, why? Uh, we are becoming addicted to each other, you know, and that's dangerous. Uh, okay. Uh, but, you know, as a person with CPTSD, yes. uh, I am strongly aware of uh, being addicted and I, um, I do... Um, I think that I do recognize when I'm starting to be uh, when I'm starting being addicted uh, to something, and I like being uh, addicted. To it, so <laughs> well, some, sometimes it's good to be addicted to something, right? So sometimes, it's okay. Yeah. Like, but, for uh, example, crafting in your case, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm a little bit addicted Crochet to crochet and painting. Yes. yes, but you know, it's something. Mm, the the point is, we are. Now I, I will use my favorite sentence and word. We are Tell too mm, we are uh, we are we are too work oriented, and we just think about that uh, we work when when we use our computers and uh, when we are counting when we are doing something which is I know which can be measurable, which um, uh, you can be paid. For. But I think that, uh, in fact, we as human beings, as animals, of course, too, when yes. we grab something, when we just use our hooks and just use our mind, just use our hands, we are doing something. So to do, 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 what you do, of do, course. do, 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 it's from uh, friends, do, 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 Chandler was, uh, oh, I was don't know great. that one. No, do, do, no, do, do. No, what no. you do, do, what you do, do, no? Oh, okay, so it's like love what you do and do what you love from this do, do, or what do, do? Uh, it was I'm a kind confused. of, um, it was a kind of uh, fake interview for his job. So uh -huh. uh, maybe was trying to help him uh, with his future job interview. Okay. But, uh, but from the beginning, Chandler, uh, Chandler uh started talking about uh, what uh, he doesn't know to do 
So I do not, uh, I do not know how to do something. I do not know how to do. It. And uh, then she uh, asks him, "Okay, but I want to uh, hear what you do, do what you do, do what you do, do, <laughs> or like what you are good at, do. yes, or something yeah. like that." What okay. You do, do. I love this. Uh, I love this. The uh, I think almost almost every episode of uh, yeah, of it's good. And, uh, that's series. another thing. That it, maybe I don't know. Okay, if it's good to be addicted to series, that's debatable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> but I like this series. You know, uh, in, yes. I think it's not a, a kind of addiction. It's just maybe a kind of uh, fun addiction. Uh, so I find it very funny, and when I'm watching this uh, series, I'm just, you know, mm, I'm just focusing on on my uh, maybe not childhood, but uh, I don't know, teenage, 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 times, probably, age, yeah, 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 teenage mm -hmm. times when I was 15, 16, 17, 18. And when I was looking at them and thinking that it's 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 not possible to have uh, flat like uh, like this to be together just to have fun without uh, without parents without tutors without professors without all of this suck stuff, uh, you okay. know. And when I was watching, uh, you know, um, the first time when I yes. uh, uh, seen the small laptop, I was, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, okay. Oh, and when Chandler was using the communicator to communicate, and when he, uh, yeah, uh, because he was dating via communicator, you know, and it was not. Uh, I am so out of date with friends. Like I totally yeah. don't oh. remember what they were about. I have to go back to them. Like it's a pity. Yeah. It's a pity. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, no. it's, it's also a pity that the day only has twenty-four hours, not forty-eight hours. You know. You know what a big pity that is. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I was watching this um, all of this episode when I was young. Yes. Uh, so each episode, and then once again, and once again, and once again, and once again, and once again, mm -hmm. and when I feel sad, and and when I do not feel good, just two or three episodes, and I am, yeah, 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 everything will be good. So, for example, Phoebe, this uh, Phoebe is so so uh, self confident person. He's she's so you know. She's sure that she is nice, pretty, good, and she's good enough for her. And that's wonderful. Yeah. So it's, when I watch Phoebe, yeah, I I feel great. Okay, so um take a deep breath. Yeah, and going to, to the point, please just think about it and feel free to uh, to yes, I mean it's already a yes, you know, you have a yes. Yeah, oh, thank you. Know, you know, like a golden buzzer. How okay, many yeses? So, Four yeses. Uh, each, uh, each day and each hour you prefer, it's okay for me. And it's uh, it's great for me because, as you know, I'm on my long-term sick leave. So I'm here uh, and I I can um, settle, settle my... Adjust. Uh, Adjust, adjust my uh, day schedule without no schedule uh, wow. to you. To Aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I'm very lucky. I'm we'll very come lucky. come back to that. Yes. Yeah. So I want to. Uh, I want to. Um, Gosh. Yes, you have so to... much uh, knowledge in your brain right now that mm -hmm. I feel that I am undereducated in comparison to you because I will explain why. Because recently you have received the best publication ever. When it comes to Pete Walker, aren't you lucky? How many pages have you read already? So I've just read the whole book, uh, <laughs> but that's not the point. But that's not the point. But that's not no, the of point. Of course you know, not. People no. with complex PTSD, they are very often addicted to something, for example, reading. And it's not a good thing because when you are addicted, for example, to reading, it, it means that the whole process of reading is, um, in fact, the process of forgetting about something and dissociating uh, from something. So it's not good, but uh, I, I'm aware of that. And I try to divide my uh, day between few activities. So uh, I try not to be addicted uh, to something, but... 
you know, from time to time, I enjoy just just reading and uh, doing nothing else. But but for example, today I have to, I have my English class, which is very exhausting. That's me. That's now. me. Oh, oh, what exhausting? <laughs> Excuse me. What what did you say? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am associated with the word exhausting. Exhausted, yeah. Oh my goodness! I love you. I love you. And then, That's terrible. My, my uh, I and then I have my therapy session, and and uh, after that, my son is coming with his, I think, three friends, uh, and oh. I said that I will prepare pizzas or. Um, or, or, or fried uh, potatoes with sausages. I, My goodness. Sure I think option B, because I have enough of pizza, but yeah, potatoes yeah. with sausages, that sounds tempting. Yeah, that sounds tempting, yeah. So, uh, uh, and they will spend here, I think, um, half of the day and the night. They will listen to the music very loud. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And then, like, what are you going to be doing in this time? Uh, reading the Tao fully feeling. Wow. And have you started that book already? Or That's not? the camera. That's the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Tao... tell me, have you, have uh -huh. you already started or not? No. Uh, okay. I, have, I have just read the um, preface uh, or introduction. Okay. No, no, you know, just come just to see, uh, just to be um, aware what's in, uh, in, uh, inside. It's something different than uh, complex PTSD from surviving to thriving. Thriving, yeah. Thriving. yeah. But in what but, sense is it different? How uh, is it because, different? Uh, there is, um, uh, I think that there, uh, in this in this very book, I uh, I will find more his profound. Uh, experiences uh, uh, with complex PTSD, uh, mm -hmm. but, but uh, this book, complex P PTSD from surviving to thriving, uh, there you 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 will find both his profound um, insights, uh, yeah, uh -huh. insights and theory. So a lot of theory you can find here. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I am impressed by the way of his writing. So he knows how to. Um, uh, how to form, how to create a um, uh, very substantial narrative without mm -hmm. using uh, sophisticated words, oh, yeah. uh, sophisticated narratives, uh, uh, sentences. And it's so interesting book. It's intriguing book. I can uh, name it as an intriguing book. Okay. Uh, so uh, if, I suppose even if you are not a CPTSD uh, recoverer or a survivor, because, or healer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the word choice is pretty complicated, to be yeah, honest. It's, yes, and oh. uh, I think that in the process of translating, it, it will be very difficult to translate it in Polish. Mm -hmm. he, he uses these two words, um, uh, in interchangeably. Interchangeably, 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 yes. interchangeably. Mm -hmm. so um, for most of the time he uses uh, survivor, but from time to time interchangeably he uses uh, this uh, word uh, reco recover, rec recover. Recoverer, with an ER yeah. ending. Mm -hmm. Recoverer, but okay. I think that, that survivor matches the best. Uh, because it is surviving, yeah. Like when we surviving. connect what it's you know surviving. from this book, connected yeah. to Phoebe, Phoebe's uh, speech, yeah. Phoebe's speech, yes. So you have to survive, and if you do not uh, create all of these structures of surviving, you will not survive. It's, yeah. it's impossible to survive because you feel helpless, hopeless. Long, uh, you feel that uh, you are uh, stuck in a huge loneliness without any hope. Um, and uh, the biggest problem is uh, with people, um, with uh, with kids, uh, teenagers, uh, toddlers, etc. So it depends yes. on the, on the period of life. Of life yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. If you uh, cannot find a secure adult person, so yeah. if you cannot find uh, an, a good enough adult person, mm -hmm. uh, it's highly difficult for you. And then because uh, when you uh, are in your adulthood, uh, mm -hmm. you are not able to um, trust people, and it's highly, it's highly difficult. It's, it's so hard 
then it's so hard to trust other people but it doesn't mean for example that i do not trust you or i do not trust my therapist or i do not trust my friends at work but mm -hmm. it's um when i was reading this book yesterday uh, and i was reading this very specific part of this uh yeah, tell me more. edition yeah yeah yes 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 yes, 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 yes. now you have your work yeah no, no, no. Tell me more Be because I wanted to connect today also our talk to uh, our conversation to having this caregiver who you can okay. rely on, who loves mm -hmm. you unconditionally. So, yeah, the microphone is yours. Give it to okay. me, Asha. Tell uh, me what even, you know. Even if, you, even if it's, it's not my microphone, I will take it. So please do not worry. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. Figuratively uh, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to find something. But uh, mm -hmm. if I do not, I will just tell you uh, what I uh, remember. Uh, of course. So the point is, uh, if you are not able to find an, uh, enough good adult or adult, that, so the adult person um, who is uh, trustfully, Trustfully, yeah. Who trustworthy, was, uh, trustworthy, 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 yeah. or just good mm -hmm. enough. Um, um, when you are an adult person, you are not able to trust other people, but it doesn't mean that you uh, do not trust at all. Mm -hmm. It means that it's a kind of a wall in your. Uh, now I am talking from my perspective, so I'm yes, yes, from my personal perspective, but uh, referring to this uh, to this book uh, from Surviving to Thriving. So yes. it, it's a kind mm -hmm. of a, a glass wall, you know, or wall mm -hmm. made by glass. So so uh, I do trust you. So no, maybe not. I can see you. I can hear you. I am cooperating with you. We are working together. We are friends. We are maybe uh, very good friends. Mm -hmm. But there's there's always something. There's always something between us. So mm -hmm. there's this um, a kind of glass wall. So the wall, uh, I can see you, but I cannot feel you, you know? That's an I interesting can... term, yeah? The glass because it is made it's a wall it's yeah. see-through mm -hmm. you can see through it right yeah i can see you and i can cooperate with you and i am absolutely aware of all your uh, gestures and faces Just and gestures. i can hear you yeah yeah and mm -hmm. and i can hear you absolutely but uh, th that's not a 100 percent of accurate accuracy accuracy accuracy, accuracy feeling that I do trust you. So okay. I do trust you, but if you say, for example, now, um, I don't know, uh, Joanna, uh, I am disgusted uh, by you. I will tell you, okay, I understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry that I was disturbing you for many years. I've been disturbing you for many years and disgusting mm -hmm. you for many years. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, my apologies. Please do not be angry at me. And I'm sorry that I lost your time. Okay. It's something so like it's that. it's like I taking said. the blame, isn't it? Like taking yeah. the blame for yes, something that you totally shouldn't actually. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, people with complex PTSD uh, with no uh, enough uh, safe adult person uh, during their childhood and teenagers period, mm -hmm. teenage period, they teenager. Are, teenager period, they are they are just not able to to forget about this very glass wall, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and they are not able to end um, in, in this book. Peter uh, Walker says that it's highly difficult when you cooperate with these people during their therapy uh, uh -huh. as a therapist, okay. because you have to be aware. And, uh, and um, I think that's because he's the CTPSD recoverer. So uh, he's aware of the fact that the level of, uh, of trust is the, 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 the trust uh, yes. in every single moment can evaporate. Oh yeah, that's a very nice way to put it. Yeah, and he said that. So, uh, and you, as the uh, therapist, you have to be aware of this very specific part. That, and you, um, and you have to remember that it doesn't mean that this person doesn't uh, um, feel that it, that he or she is close to you, believe you, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It just means that there was something. 
maybe in you or uh, maybe in the whole i don't know context environment maybe in this very specific uh, specific day yes. which which uh, triggered this mm. person into some kind of emotional flashback and yes. the untrust um just uh came to clicked. her okay, like yeah. clicked click and mm -hmm. he said um, um just a second please maybe i was yeah this is this is very important yeah very yeah it was very interesting part i can imagine uh, yeah. when he, when he said that uh just a second maybe i will find it mm -hmm. uh, that even if um so, if the uh, switch off uh, is on, switch on is never. Um, you auto switch, the just the switch. Yeah. So uh, the person with complex PTSD can mm -hmm. uh, switch very fast on the. Uh -huh. uh, so switch off. Um, trust. Work. Yes, switch off uh, trust works very good, but switch on trust doesn't work at all. A, upsi, okay. Ten przełącznik na on nie działa, działa tylko na off ciągle. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the switch, Ashu, because the switch, this is the click, switch. click. Okay. Yeah. And then you switch it on or switch it off. So we can say that the switch off mode uh -huh. works switch very quickly. Yeah, switch off mode. Probably I don't know how he put it exactly, but like uh -huh. the switch off, of course, inverted comma, uh, commas. Then we say that yeah, it kind of clicked. Yeah, to the off mode, but it's difficult to switch it back on. Yeah, absolutely. For example, oh, I uh, I have just found something interesting. If uh, if I can read, if it's okay, uh, please read be my something. guest. Go go go. Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, many of my of the clients who came through uh, my door have never had a safe enough relationship. Repetition mm -hmm. compulsion drives them to. Uh, unconsciously seek uh, out relationship in adulthood that trauma uh, traumatically reenact the abusive and or abandoning dynamic of their childhood uh, caretakers and uh, so it means that uh, in fact during my whole life uh, and it's true i was searching for something which is very similar to my parental um abandonment environment uh, because i i felt that i feel safe uh, isn't that crazy that you feel safe in the dangerous not yeah. in the safe because that's the pattern that's the pattern yeah, that's that, the familiar that, yeah yeah because mm -hmm. you do not feel uh, that you are uh, worth for being safe in a normal condition uh, so um because you are my favorite words uh helpless helplessness hopelessness loneliness emptiness defels defenselessness defenselessness Def defenselessness like you defenselessness. are defenseless, defenseless. defenseless. Uh -huh. unworthy and one of the most important words for complex PTSD survivors flout 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 yeah which we were talking about with yeah. uh, Phoebe yeah yeah so, and uh, one more thing uh, yes. uh importantly the therapist needs to be able to tolerate and to work therapeutically with the sudden evaporation of trust that uh -huh. is so characteristic for ctp cptsd trauma yeah. survivors do not have a, a volitional on switch for trust even though the off switch is frequently automatically triggered during their flashback. In mm -hmm. therapy, the therapist um, must able to work on reassurance and the trust restoral over and over again. Mm -hmm. point but is, does he give any clue or tool or yes, mechanism how to yes, do it? Yeah. Uh, so in this book, uh, therapists can find a lot of uh, tools for for uh, the whole process of over and over uh, mm -hmm. switching on the uh, the trust. But it doesn't mean that that you will succeed. Uh, it depends on the person. It depends on the um, you know on the uh, childhood. 
Nie ah. lubię. I know, I know, I know what you want to say. Ah, wonder, wondering. Yeah? Wounds, 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 wounds. Yeah. Wounds. And your wounds, uh, your uh, wounding experience during your childhood. It depends, mm -hmm. and you know, in the, uh, but it depends uh, also uh, on your own um, actually environment. So the family you are now in, uh, your partner. So if you have a health and uh, environment of if you are uh, if you are able to leave your toxic human environment so your job for example because sometimes you have mm -hmm. to leave your job you have to mm -hmm. leave your partner you have to leave for example you have to leave your abusive parents uh, I, uh yeah i know that there's a great book but uh i mm -hmm. do not have this book and i didn't order this book at all and but I will you are not planning to or are you planning I'm to planning. I am planning, but I didn't do it yet. You haven't. Okay, haven't good. Yes. Okay. So Alice Miller, the drama of the gifted child. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I was. Um, I heard about this book a uh, few times. That mm -hmm. it's a great book, but I have never, uh, I have never read it before. And but I will do it after this uh, two more books by, by. What? But you said that you ordered one. That's not fair. Oh, I sent you two pictures, two photos yesterday. Oh, see, then I missed it. Yeah, okay. you missed it. That's the reason we have to have our English classes three times per week, or maybe seven times per week, because you are. You are not um, so forgetful. No, no, no. I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm when checking. When it comes I'm to checking. my messages, yeah. No, no, no. no. I take a. No, that's I pay a lot of attention. Point. Two seconds. I'm checking. What pictures did I? Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. You did receive. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You sent them to me. Okay. Yeah. Now I got your, them. Uh, yeah, your and yeah. uh, your incompetence is just evaporating. <laughs> you know. No, my competence has just evaporated. Uh, Okay, has just evaporated, but your yes, your, it's your gone. Competence is evaporated. I don't know, evaporated, extra in in a interpolated. Okay, interpolated. I like this word, even if it doesn't exist. Okay, interpolated, interpolated, intraporated. Okay, intraporated. No problem. Should That's I make good. a note of it? Yes. Yes. What you mean that it's, hmm. But in in nature, we have evaporation and then intraporation. Interpolation. Okay. Oh, Incorporation. Why not? Why not? If you understand it, it's okay. So yes, of the, course. The point is that yes. we in Poland, in Poland, we do not understand in our schools, for example, that the main function and the core function of the and the crucial function and the absolutely the most important function, profound etc. Et of the language is to be understood. So if you understand me, what's wrong? If I had a mistake and I and I said intraporation, even if it doesn't exist, it does exist from this very moment. Voila. There yeah. we have it. Yes. Yeah. So so go coming back. Point. Yes. Okay. So you have uh, so two books to complete. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it's his it's his first book. Uh, uh, yeah. I wanted to ask about the order of the book. So that's yeah. the first so one. It, mm -hmm. Yes. It's his first book, and because of the fact he received um, many good uh, responses from 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 uh, readers of this book oh, and okay. from readers of his web, uh, web page, uh, he decided to uh, write to uh, prepare this complex book. So, oh, so that's the outcome, yeah, of yes, that one. The second okay. book and the and the third book and the last one uh, is this one. And this book is about his process of recovering, his mm -hmm. own process of recovering. So, no theory, I suppose so. So, uh, no theory, just his feelings, his the whole way of his healing uh, from complex PTSD. Uh, the even whole journey, in, yeah, we can call it. Journey, journey. journey, journey, crafting your yeah, uh, craft. I, I had no idea how to add my this, you know, this uh, line above um, below my Joanna Renkas. No idea how to do it. Mm, maybe I will discover it uh, next time. I think you can still edit it, but um, okay. mm, you can click like when you see your picture at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. 
you click on the three dots and then you have edit name yes and when i uh, said edit name there i have only my display name but you know that we had this one more line yes but can't you write it in the same line i can check i craft your life okay thank you you are so clever okay there we go there it, goes. It, looks, it looks just better than uh, than before so that's the yes. third book and uh when i read it uh, when i read it then i will order uh the trauma of the gifted child and one more time will you share the name and surname of that author yeah uh, elise miller elise miller alice. Mm -hmm. uh, the drama, not the trauma, the drama of the gifted child. Mm -hmm. Okay. The drama of the gifted child. Maybe it's it, it's translated into Polish. I don't know, uh, but you know, I do uh, feel. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say just better, even if it's not a correct word. Uh, when I read in English, even if I do not understand everything and um, very often I have to check words or, or I just I uh, have to ask you, please, Monia, help me because no idea what's what's happening in, uh, in the sentence. But sure. I feel better when I do it in English. I have no idea. But why there's I'm... something tricky about that. I also very often read the originals in English because somehow it it's elicits... Uh, the message better or yeah even if i do not understand it um what but you feel it yeah you, you have a feeling I can feel it yes but yeah, i can exactly. feel it and mm -hmm. and uh, but the point is i feel then i feel more prepared for our classes so i do not feel you know what was etc but I, because i'm prepared for our you feel classes. like yeah I read the book and Monica hasn't yet. And I'm like, yeah. oh, oh my gosh. yes, that's the point. That's the point. That's the point. Uh, so okay. uh, I think that uh, I think that we should know a lot about our minds, about our brains, about our left and right. Uh, hemispheres, yeah, almost spheres, almost spheres. Yes. Hemi, 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 hemi from half. Yes, hemispheres. Yeah, hemispheres. Mm -hmm. We uh, because when you know, I cannot say that I know uh, a lot, but I but when you know something, you are starting to you, you are starting to be you know aware that uh, when you think something, it doesn't mean that it's the reality, and that's the point. When I think that I'm ugly, it doesn't mean that I'm. It doesn't mean at all that there, because there's only a kind of idea of ugliness. Ugliness. Yes. Yes. Correct. Uh, or being ugly, or being beauty. But you have to be aware of your mind. You have to be aware of the whole process. So how your brain is working. How how of this uh, neurons and left and right hemispheres uh, are working and when you are aware of that then i yes. think that the, that the process of recovery and the process of healing is maybe not faster but maybe it's not, it's more conscious maybe it's more like i don't know uh, yeah conscious just conscious because you are aware of the fact that your mind uh, it's a part of your identity and yourself. And also, well, you know, this pattern override that you have to do mm -hmm. by yeah. creating new paths and new neurons and new connections and everything in the brain that requires time. And that is an act of conscious mm -hmm. acting, right? I mean, it has to be consciously done. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there is no progress. Yeah, but uh, it's important too to understand that you that our minds, our, our brains are very flexible. Yes. So no plastic. So yes, uh, I love that term. Yeah, I love it too. I love this term too. So uh, so you can do what maybe not whatever you want, but you can do a lot with your within brain within reasonable limits. Yes. Right. Yeah. So you can, for example, read books. You can practice, 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 practice. In this book, he recommends uh, mindfulness practicing, and uh, he ex explains 
uh, how it works uh, when it comes to uh, his process of recovery and his and uh, was really impressive so he uh, describes his own process and um, you know it's a kind of trustworthy uh, process because uh, I can observe his own process, so his his own path, his own way, his own journey. So I can observe how he was crafting his life, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, or his, kind of recrafting, yeah, or kind of recrafting. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the point is, uh, I think maybe I'm wrong, but it uh, just comes to my mind that he is crafting that he was crafting his life because. At the beginning, when you um, when you feel uh, that, that you are just lonely, worthless, etc., and that uh, when you uh, were not able to find a, a good adult person, mm -hmm. uh, someone or something was was crafting your life, not you. It was not you. Mm, yeah. Because well, then we would have to dig deeper into the verb of craft, right? Okay. So the verb craft. So it's like, yeah, because it's a transitive verb. So it's mm -hmm. like you craft your life and then your life is being crafted by craft someone else. It's being crafted is being crafted. So um, maybe it's better to say that uh, when it comes to uh, people with CPTSD, uh, someone, um, yeah, their lives were being crafted. Uh, by other people were being crafted by other people by yeah. their parents and environments and uh, everybody whole, yeah. everybody the whole mm -hmm. um, uh, abandonment abandonment uh, abandon abandonment abandon, uh, abandoned abandoned and uh, of course uh, the whole process of being abused uh, because it, of course, depends on your on your personal experience. Uh, there are many types of CPTSD people, mm -hmm. and it, of course, depends on uh, their experiences, and it depends on the um, on their uh, co co uh, coexistence diseases. For example, um, mm -hmm. if there is a child with uh, ADHD. Uh, yes. disease AD, yeah um, ADHD yes 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 mm -hmm. ADHD disease it means that uh, or oh, disorder I don't know if it's disease or disorder, disorder would be better yes mm -hmm. ADHD uh, disorder yeah, yeah it's uh, the uh, level of um, evaporating <laughs> the abusive environment and the uh, abandonment is much higher is uh, higher because your your mind is like a like you know this is where my daughter sponge. comes in handy spongebob spongebob sponge <laughs> so your 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 brain your feelings are like a sponge mm. so you are evaporating even if it doesn't exist it, you are evaporating everything uh, with um, uh, every stronger, just much stronger. So you are evaporate, evaporating everything. But and that's an interesting, you know, because I'm just kind of thinking about uh -huh. the word that you have created. Because yes, it is. It's not like a big wave which hit, hits you, but it's like no, vapor. No. It's vapor like vapor which comes yes and slowly goes into the slowly, structures slowly, of your over brain and over over and yes. over but day by day day by day with a very small uh, an, uh, amount and that's mm -hmm. the problem because mm -hmm. when something is going on with a very small amount it means that you are not able to to uh, to notice it yeah. and if you are not able to notice it it mm -hmm. uh, it um, it's starting to be a part of your life and it's starting to be something normal the point is for example when you are from um family when because, for example, me, uh, I'm from the family uh, which were very dangerous for me. So it doesn't mean that each day, each person uh, hit me for, I, I don't know, 100 times. No, but that uh, I could never be sure when the day will come. Mm. And that's also terrible because that's and the that's fear. Terrible. 
Yeah, yeah. that's incredible. So, for example, two weeks of uh, huge love and and uh, feeling safe and feeling f- fulfilled with love, with nor- 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 nourishing. nourishing, nourishing. Thank you, nourishing. I know yes. how to write it, but I, I know that's the tricky part about reading. You see, yeah. the, uh, we have nourishing. to combine reading and listening. Yeah. Please read it. Please uh, repeat it once again. Nourishing. Nourish, nourishing, 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 yes. nourishing. Yes. And then suddenly, without yeah. any, you know, warning, uh, warning, any without warning, any warning, it just comes out of the blue, you know, and exploding, oh. and boom, and I, and you know, and uh, the point is that when it, uh, when it is a kind of repetitive action, so uh, you learn that even if you feel safe. It will not. Uh, it, it isn't will, safe. It isn't safe because you will never know. You will never know. But there was one more thing, and I think this part is missing in this book. Maybe because he didn't um, experience it. Uh, in my family, um, except of uh, all of this uh, suck stuff, there was a sick. huge. Let's call it sick. Maybe. Six stuff. Okay, six, six stuff. Yeah, okay. But then we have to toxic. elaborate on... Yeah, toxic, yeah. Toxic, toxic stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a huge amount of narratives. Mm-hmm. First of all, narratives that we have uh, that we have a super family, so that we uh, that we have money, that we have work, that my mother uh, had her work and my father had three, two, I, I, I don't know, two, three, six works. That we it have, helps, yeah. that mm-hmm. we had enough money for living, even if when my uh, father wa- uh, was young, there was no money, etc., etc., etc. So we should be happy because we have what to eat, that we have full fridge, that we have full I don't know what, that mm-hmm. I can uh, go for a trip, that I can that I can uh, go uh, to the mountains, that uh, that in fact I have everything. We have our flat, mm-hmm. we have our home there. So house, I have my own uh, room when I was a teenager. So uh, we should be happy because we are lucky. And um, so that was one kind of narratives. The the Mm -hmm. second part of narratives, uh, you you know, you have all of these narratives that uh, um, whatever happens, it's good because uh, the life, because our lives are unpredictable our lives are very hard and uh, you know in fact it was a kind of i don't know unconscious um, uh, oh my goodness we have uh, scales you know we yeah. have scales and you go to court because you are seeking you go to court there is a judge yeah. From the word judge. Judge. Okay, please help me now. I, I Justice. 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 Yeah. Yes. Well, or justification uh, in this case. Yeah. I know this word. I know of it. course you do. So it's a kind of justification. Yeah. Because so uh, even if um, in my family, uh, no one, no one, uh, so there was no adult person uh, who was uh, um, trustworthy, Uh uh, who was uh, safe enough, who was good enough. Uh, Everything was okay because... Not okay, like okay. Okay, in the narrative, in the narrative, in in the whole story, Uh into this, um, into this, um, uh, it was a kind of plethora of stories Mm -hmm. about how our life is great you know because uh, the point is that life is awful so the point is that the life is unpredictable the point is that people are what the point is that people are disgusting that people uh, lie that people always uh, they and they they are always better than you always always so Peter, uh, people are always higher than you because you are broken in your roots, you know, at the core. 
But and you are talking about which narrative now? Like you are referring of generally parents. of my parents. Okay, so of you were this was the mm, pre-assumption that that's the kind of pre-assumptions that they had or that they were creating. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But from the uh, child's point of view, it's a kind of uh, his or her life. So I'm mm -hmm. listening to the story. I'm, for example, eating breakfast and listening to the story. For example, I, uh, I'm afraid of my father, but I'm listening uh, from my mother that life is unpredictable. And your father, it's, it's uh, not that bad that you think uh, about him because he earns money. And he didn't kill us. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. uh, said that it's okay that uh, we live together. He loves us. He's superhero, you know. Mm -hmm. But it uh, it's uh, so at the beginning you have these two kind of narratives. But there is mm -hmm. the third narrative. And the point is that you, as a child and as a teenager, you feel like a, you know, uh, like in a matrix, because. There's something uh, not only missing, but there's something contradictory in all of these narratives, you know, because uh, and and the third narrative is that the whole father's family is bad. Mm -hmm. So well, that would be probably the fourth narrative, right? So oh, okay. it's just like you know, from one entity, from one life, we already have one, two, three, four, four narratives, probably five, which yeah. you have to deal with. Yeah, and and then uh, you hear that uh, the, 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 the point is that um, if I, so for example, my mother, my grandma, uh, they said, they used to say, if I was, um, if I was intelligent enough, I would never marry this man. Because this man is from family which were very violent, etc, 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 but but because of the sin grzech tak sin sin yes sin because of the sin of the whole family and because of the sin uh, that all women uh, need to be need to have a man need to feel safe with a man etc etc i made this mistake and now you and now i and you as a child so me as a child we have to suffer you know, mm -hmm. so we have to suffer and we have to struggle for um, for love and for uh, being close with other people. But it's not possible to get it. It's it's not possible just because life mm -hmm. is hard. Life is mm -hmm. hard. And one more narrative. Very yep. interesting. I, narrative. I, I wonder if we're going to get to 10, you know. <laughs> OK, so only one more narrative. No, <laughs> I think there are more, but yeah. Yeah. People with complex PTSD, and uh, especially the when it comes to uh, this four uh, F uh, type, so the flight type, yes. they are very often workaholic and and busyholic, uh -huh. and <clears throat> especially when it, when it comes to people um, uh, which combines these two types of uh, disorders, so CPTSD with ADHD. Uh, mm -hmm. disorder uh, they are busy holics and they are workaholics but the point is mm -hmm. there was a a kind of you know a work a job work job work working 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 being exhausted being filled with the whole work at the world was a kind of a goodness in our lives at home so you have to work if you do not work you are worthless I... But workless, you know. If you are workless, you are worthless. Yeah. So you are Jobless, a person. Of worthless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do not work, you, you uh, of course, you don't have to, for example, earn money if you cannot because you are tired, etc. But you have to work for the whole day. You have to work from from the beginning of the day. To the end of the day when you are waking up you have to think about work when you are uh, trying to sleep you ha you have to think about the next day of your work so you have to you have to work for the whole 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 life if you do not work you do not you are not a live person you are just a, a piece of shit a piece of garbage etc mm -hmm. and now and when i was reading this book uh, I was thinking about uh, that issue. So 
what the influence what the level of the of of influence of the workaholic narrative mm -hmm. uh, instead of the influence of the um, abandonment uh, and uh, abusive environment of my childhood so i think that there is a kind of mixture there is a kind of i don't know something it intertwines yeah yeah and mm -hmm. it's very difficult to separate all of these things because you cannot yeah because when when i'm waking up uh, i'm think so the process of waking up each day during my whole life the process of waking up is the process of thinking uh, about work always mm -hmm. i have never uh, waken up without thinking about work even if i am for example on my sick leave I am just um, repeat. Uh, I have to repeat permanently in my head. I do not have to work. Yes, but I have to go to the grocery. I I have to go to the uh, shop. I uh, I have to do it. I have to and then stop, stop, stop. You don't have to do. Yes, I have to. So yeah, there's this internal battle going on all the time. Yeah, just just because of the war. So. Uh, it's a very complex issue. Uh, it's a very complex issue. And as Peter Walker said, mm -hmm. it's easier uh, when you were neglected uh, in the very obvious way. So the way which is visible, which is uh, which uh, has no um, stereotypical structures yeah. in uh, the society. Because yesterday mm -hmm. I was aware of the fact that uh, the whole community I was raising up, risen, or, risen, which I was growing up in, would which be I was growing up. The in whole the, community mm -hmm. knew about my family. The whole community, not only my family, not only my aunt, etc., grandma. The whole community. But the point mm -hmm. is that the whole community uh, thought the same. So the whole community was in the same narrative. Life is hard. You have to fight your battle uh, with your life. And mm -hmm. fathers are violent. Mothers are victims. Kids deal, deal with it. You know, for me, the worst uh -huh. expression is deal with it. Deal with it. So, yeah. Get over it. Yeah. You it's not will manage. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal, even and it's if it's not normal. But it's not normal. But uh, you know, using their terms, it was normal. It was normal. It was something rooted uh, in their heads. I don't know, but they knew about it. So uh, that's the reason Peter uh, Pete Walker said it's uh, sometimes, even if it sounds creepy. <laughs> Sometimes it's better when the uh, when the uh, whole violent abusive process is very visible, because it's easier to catch it and to do something with it. But when the whole process is, you know, a pretend sliding, one or yeah, pretend, let's pretend everything is okay. Yeah, let's yeah let's pretend everything is okay, mm -hmm. because if we say that something's wrong that something it's not okay we will have to uh, take the responsibility yeah. of the event of the person of the family and maybe uh, we have to take the responsibility of our own families and that's because, the worst isn't it yeah because if we are growing up uh, uh, in Mm, very similar environment. I will not tell you. Oh, uh, you you have to go to the prison because of your uh, behavior. Because I know that my father does the same. That my father has the same level of violence, and that my mother is a victim. And even if she's a victim, it doesn't mean that uh, she's not responsible for her kids. She is responsible for her kids, of even course. if she's a victim, and he is responsible for uh, his kids, even if she was a victim of his, um, of uh, of the abusive way of uh, his um, uh, family education. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it's very tricky. It's very difficult, but uh, 
-hmm. it's possible to manage with it uh, but without saying hello something's wrong here and i cannot stand with it and i have to change it and want to change it and i do not agree with it uh, if we do not do it we will never survive and we will not be survivors we will be only cptsd victims victims we will be victims we will be victims but uh, the healing process will never start or even mm -hmm. if it starts it will never finish uh so but when uh, if we want to survive and that's the reason i think the word survive is exactly the best yeah. yeah the best because it is a battle for survival isn't it it's like it's a battle for survival you can it's fight battle. for food you can fight for something to drink yeah a place to sleep but mental abuse it's yeah you, can't you touch have to it. fight for your you have to fight for your life you have to fight for the ability of living Exactly. Uh, because, and for yourself, it's a battle for yourself. It's a long life battle for yourself uh, or many battles for yourself because you do not feel your trust self, your inner self, because mm -hmm. you are, uh, you were taught uh, who are you, that you are, uh, for example, that you uh, shouldn't paint because you are not gifted that you shouldn't write because you are you are not talented that uh, you shouldn't uh, for example um, speak too much because you are not intelligent enough that you shouldn't uh, spend your morning with a book because uh, we uh, you have to go uh, to the church even if your uh, your parents don't but you are the child and you have to go you are adults so we have the possibility of not going which is absolutely you know it's it's so weird and i know yeah it's like you you have no words it's like no comment you know no comment and then when you realized uh, that you have to fight your uh, your battle, in fact, you are fighting your battle against your parents, against your uh, your your caregivers, yeah. against your family, against your friends. Sometimes, very often, against of your course. friends, your teachers, your neighbors, your uh, closest people. And but you have to do it because uh, if you if you want to find yourself. It's a it's a it's a process of finding yourself because yourself so yourself is hidden mm -hmm. uh, by all of these words, all of these sentences about you. I am sick of hearing about myself, of listening about myself. I want to find myself. You don't have to tell me about me that that I'm not gifted enough. I want to, I want to discover feel it. that. Yeah, for myself. I want to discover it. Yeah. So, that's but the you know, the, this what we're talking about, Asha. This is like many generations of um, of hatred, of mm -hmm. stigma, of wrong narratives. I mean, we live. Okay, many hundreds of years ago, there was the Enlightenment age, which oh. probably <laughs> was not the correct term, because now it looks like we're going in the direction of Enlightenment, because we have access to books, to knowledge, to people from America, right? We can order a book on Amazon and learn. It's super. It's, Isn't it's, it? It's amazing. It's something, it's something absolutely amazing. I, I love it so much, and I'm still... You know, I still can't believe it in it, that it's it just so easy and they are not very expensive. For example, when you compare prices on Amazon with, for example, prices of books in Croatia, it's so cheap, you know, it's so okay, cheap. Okay, really? Yeah, it's yeah expensive in Croatia, to buy books. prices are very high. Yeah, are very high wow. and books are very expensive. But for example, um, you know, for example, this book was about 70 Zloty, mm -hmm. 70 Zloty, which is not... Um, you know, it's not a cheap book, but it's not a very expensive book. For example, 70s Zloty uh, is one dinner uh, in Poznan. So because uh, 10 euros is, for example, breakfast, 
plus coffee and you have this very book and you can you can just eat at home oh, uh, of course not always at home but but just to compare you know so i love it i i love i'm very oh and that will be this the last sentence today no uh, i was thinking okay. about your diary um no, it was a newspaper diary. Gratitude no. journal. Yeah, gratitude journal. So I'm so happy because of living uh, at this very specific moment, you know, of history. I'm very happy yes. that yes. I can read, I can develop myself. Um, I can uh, I, I can talk to you, for example, via internet. That we have so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, when when I was watching Friends uh, 20 years ago, I I had never I had I hadn't imagined it that no it's way. possible. That is possible, but now it is possible, and I'm very grateful. Yes, and I do for every day and everything. Monica, next time we'll we'll, we'll talk about CPTSD. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, because, of course. Um, okay. Surprise. You for know, you. No, yes, it is a bit. Yes, okay. I, I am taken aback by this information. But yeah, it's like we have so much information here. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, okay. it's so but, complex. Uh, actually, I have 20 years of uh, my work at the university, at Mickiewicz University. On the 27th of February, I will field 20 years. I will oh. end with 20 years, yeah. It will be your anniversary. Anniversary, yeah, twenty years anniversary, and wow. uh, but the, two but decades, I, yeah, two decades. Uh, but I need uh, twenty years more to go uh, to have my retirement payment or something like that. To retire, to be able to retire. retire. Yeah. So we have, so we have so many years. Please <laughs> not be afraid. We will finish it. Maybe, 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 baby. Maybe I, one I'm day. not so sure. I'm not so sure. Me too. Me too. Monia, thank you very much. For thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice day. Yes. Have a nice weekend. All the best for you too. Thank, thank you very much. Sophia. And, yes. and, and tell her I'm working on her blanket. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice day. You too.